Yes, I think it's wonderful where Olivia ends up. She has had such a rough ride and it's not over. This season is probably going to give her the biggest the biggest kind of horror yet, I think, in that some things come home to roost. So she has got some more stuff to move on through, but um, it's beautiful in the end. I'm, I'm over the moon, absolutely. Bevan's done a wonderful job to, to almost um, bring George back to the man that we first saw when, we, when he meets Sarah and, and being in love and, and just being very comfortable and um, uh, in his, with, with his life, very content. Sarah has the most dignified ending that I could have possibly hoped for when I started this six seasons ago. I won't give it away, but um, it's very poignant and as I've been learning it, I, I, I cry every time. <laughs> so um, hopefully I don't and the audience do, but in a happy way. Um, it's, it's a very natural way to finish her and I think, um, yeah, as Bevan says, there won't be a dry eye in the house. I am, although it's a rough ride going into the last block, so it's not plain sailing, but that's, that's, that's good. But I think there's something he faces uh, finally after six seasons <laughs> um, that he needs to in order to actually move forward. So, so that's, that's good. That's good for Jack, and I think it'll be satisfying for the audience. And yeah, it'll resonate with the people who have had those experiences. Yeah. I'm very pleased with Elizabeth's journey over the six years. I think she's really learnt a lot um, about what her priorities are and about being able to drop the mask that so hindered her when we first met her. Um, her absolute determination to maintain the status quo and that appearances were more important than anything. And she's learnt the hard way, as we all do, that, that that's not the case and that being open and sharing your secrets is more important. The James Bly that you see in episode one, season one, is not the same character as the same as the James Bly in season six. He's a very different person, um, and I've tried very, very hard to create a character arc there. And I think what's special about this show is that it's it allows that change and growth of characters. In fact, it's one of the themes of the show that characters grow and become more and become more themselves. And particularly with this character who started off so um, uptight and, and then by the end of it, he's just living his best life on the Riviera. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a wonderful journey. It's been a fantastic uh, opportunity to play a character and be involved in her creation and uh, to start out as a character actor and then go into something that was a little bit more well-rounded. I think um, it's been a great journey. It's been wonderful, fabulous crew, great roles. It's been a wonderful journey. Yeah, I think um... Roy's at an age, he's gone through some tremendously dramatic experiences, particularly in the last season. And, uh, but he's come through that and he's, he, he ends up in a, in a space that's pretty peaceful for him, I think. So that, that's a nice way to leave him. The journey that she's been on is extraordinary from very different to season five where she goes in season six. And that's, that's magnificent to be able to to go wow, wow, like this, and where we see her at the end is right. Poor Henry's kind of been put through the ringer, especially this season, um, but it's been an incredible journey for him, and it's been a wonderful character arc to play, um, and certainly very happy with how it's ended up. The way that Bevan's ended the story for Henry is, is really very, very special, and quite personal for me too, and I think for, for Bevan also, um, you know, I think he's, He's put his own voice into Henry's storyline, um, as he has with all of our storylines. I think the storyline for Henry, you know, is, is quite close to home and what he's trying to say with that storyline. And I think it's quite prevalent and, and very important, uh, a very important story to be told. 
I am very happy where we leave Anna. Um, I'm very protective of her. And the pressure was on for Bevan. I was like, how do you leave her? How do you leave her? What are you thinking? Every week. And then when he told me, I just cried. And he cried. So it, it was lovely. And then I think I told my mum and she cried. And so uh, he's given her what, what I would want for her, which I couldn't articulate. That's not my job. So it's his job to, realize, to articulate that and then I have to realize it. I don't know if I'll be able to shoot it because I might just cry.